In this video, I will demonstrate the process of batch juicing for a duration of three days. I believe this is an excellent opportunity to share the knowledge I have gained through research and personal experience. With that in mind, please note that the information shared within this video should not be regarded as professional or medical advice. What is batch juicing? Batch juicing is preparing and storing a large quantity of juice at once, typically for multiple days. It involves juicing a variety of fruits and vegetables and dividing the juice into individual servings for each day. It's a time-saving technique that ensures a fresh supply of juice is available to you throughout the week. Before we even get into batch juicing, you do have to think about your ingredients. I prioritize locally grown, seasonal, and organic produce. One of my go-to grocery markets is the local East End Food Co-op located here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I also check to make sure the produce isn't bruised as that can cause your fruits and vegetables to age quicker and and lose nutrients. Also, my choice in produce selection depends on the benefits I'm seeking to get out of them. For instance, iron is something that I'm always looking to get out of my produce. Therefore, dandelion grains is gonna be an option. For preparation before juicing, it is important to ensure that you're cleaning your produce first. I have tried several methods, including baking soda and apple cider vinegar, but using baking soda didn't feel right to me. I wanted to keep it as natural as possible. I think of baking soda more so as a household for cleaning appliances rather than on my produce. And I noticed that apple cider vinegar, the acidity of it was causing harm to the produce. Like it was eating through produce such as strawberries and even some of the greens. Personally, I have found the best results by soaking my produce in either distilled or spring water with key lime juice and sea salt. I let it soak for 20 to 30 minutes and then rinse before cutting it for juicing. But that's just the method that works for me. I recommend using whatever method you feel most comfortable or effective for you. I highly recommend for batch juicing, you get a juicer. I'll be using the Kuvings Auto 10 juicer. It has a 100 ounce hopper, allowing you to juice a large amount of produce at once. And it has a powerful motor able to run continuously for 45 minutes. That's fire. That, that makes this juicer perfect for batch juicing. If interested, you can save 10% on the Kuvings Auto 10 juicer by using promo code Brandon on the Kuvings USA website at checkout. You not only enjoy discount but you indirectly support the creation of content on this channel as I do earn a small commission. It's a win-win situation for both of us and I thank you for your support in advance. You can find the link in the description and I'll leave it pinned in the comment section. My first batch of juice that I prepared was a favorite of mine for late fall and winter. A combination of burdock root, pear, ginger, and key lime. For a normal amount, I would use three inches of burdock root, four pears, Asian pears preferably, one key lime, and a thumb of ginger. For batching purposes, I doubled the quantity, but you can even triple the quantity of produce depending on how much you plan to feast throughout the day. You do have to be mindful of the dosage when consuming burdock, especially for those who are pregnant. Um, a small amount shouldn't be an issue, but always double check with uh, someone you trust, perhaps a physician or herbalist. For my second batch, I prepared a green juice using dandelion greens, cucumber, fennel, key lime, pear, and ginger. I make sure to drink a green juice at least two to three times per week, if not daily, which is why you'll often find me batch juicing green produce. After juicing all my ingredients, I transfer them to mason jar glass containers. To keep the juice fresh and prevent oxidation, I use a vacuum sealing device designed for regular mouth and wide mouth mason jars. I like this device because it doesn't require batteries. You can charge it using USB. You can find it in my Amazon store, which again, I'll leave a link to in the description. I then place the containers in the refrigerator to keep the juices chilled and ready to enjoy. If my juice has been sitting for a while, even for a few minutes, I always remember to shake before consuming. 
to ensure that soluble fiber and flavors are well mixed. I've seen others freeze juice for up to six months, but I feel much of the benefits you get from juicing will be lost up to that length of time. One of the best times to consume cold pressed juice is immediately after juicing. This is when the nutrients are at their freshest and most potent. By consuming the juice right after it has been extracted from the produce, you'll be able to fully enjoy its rich flavor and experience the full potential of the health benefits it has to offer. These include the essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that nourish and rejuvenate the body. With that being said, I recommend storing juice no longer than three days. Doing beyond the three days, I feel the juice doesn't hit as much as it should. So who is batch juicing for? I would say it's for individuals with a busy schedule. Perhaps you have a nine to five job that occupies most of your time or you're a busy stay-at-home parent. Maybe you have a juice fast planned and you realize you won't have the energy or motivation to juice and clean up multiple times in a day. This method is perfect for those with a busy schedule as it allows you to juice large batches at once. Even for those with large family households, the ability to juice large quantities at once will be advantageous. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you for rocking with me. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit the like like and check out a few other videos of mine recommended from YouTube. Until next time, peace God.